The preparation of hexamine nickel-2 chloride. Attention, nickel-2 chloride is carcinogenic, toxic if inhaled or swallowed, can cause damage of the organs, irritations and allergic reactions of the skin and respiratory tract and is toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Ammonia is a dangerous compound. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. At first, 4 grams of ammonium chloride are mixed with 10 ml of distilled water to prepare a saturated solution. Then 5 grams of nickel-2 chloride hexahydrate were dissolved in 3.4 ml of distilled water. This took about 15 minutes even though the mixture was stirred. When the nickel chloride had dissolved, 5 ml of the saturated ammonium chloride solution were added. Then 10 ml of concentrated ammonia solution were added. The solution turned blue and a precipitate did form immediately. In addition to that the solution did heat up a bit. The following reaction takes place. The nickel chloride reacts with the ammonia to form the complex hexamine nickel 2 chloride. This precipitates which is increased by the addition of the ammonium chloride. Next, the solution was cooled in an ice bath for one hour to increase the amount of precipitate. A larger amount of precipitate had formed which was then filtered off. The residue in the beaker was washed out two times with one milliliter of concentrated ice-cold ammonia solution. Then the precipitate was washed again with two milliliters of the ice-cold ammonia. In the end it was washed with a large amount of ethanol to speed up the drying process afterwards. Then it was dried on the hot plate at around 50 degrees C. At first 2.19 grams of hexamine nickel 2 chloride were obtained which corresponds to a yield of 45%. When washing the product with ethanol a large amount of precipitate had formed in the filtrate which was neglected at first. In the end it was filtered off and washed like the first portion. This led to another 1.37 grams which gave a total amount of 3.56 grams and corresponds to a yield of 73%. What's interesting though is that the color of the compound in this video is not the same as the one that can be observed with the naked eye. This can also be seen on pictures in the internet. That's why in this picture the real color was replicated as good as possible on the right side. The reason for this is that the human eye is able to see light at shorter wavelengths than most camera sensors can. This was the preparation of hexamine nickel 2 chloride. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see how to prepare another interesting complex you can watch my video about silver tetraiodomercurate here or you can watch my latest video here.